No one is surprised he has mother issues. Ladies and gentlemen, a warning to comics, these are not load-bearing curtains. You cannot use them to support your body when you're feeling weird. Um, uh, speaking of feeling weird, let's let's just we've been grounded for a while. Lots of jokes and makes and listen, we've been literal, right, right where most people live and think all the time. We're now just we're, we're gonna leave that area. We're gonna go up a whole level of atmosphere to where there is no judgment, to where our minds don't work like they normally do, where our minds are ready to think like our next comic. We don't impede how he thinks. If he does something unique, let's be awesome for Jeff, the entertainer, extraordinary! Jeff McCormick, the entertainer extraordinaire, is, is it? The entertainer extraordinaire is in the house. Thank you, Hi Ho Lounge, and thank you very much, Duck and Pace. Um, for April Fool's Day, 2016, which was last month, um, after I posted up two of the links about when Tom Brady got pranked by Rob Gronkowski by. Rob Gronkowski putting Tom Brady's hand into a tiny bowl of warm water and then all of a sudden he pissed on himself. That's the one thing you don't want to do on April Fool's Day. Get caught during, get caught napping during April Fool's Day because you will get your ass pranked. And then the second link, which is Drew Brees sending us a, a freak out message saying, saying that Who Dat Nation has been great playing quarterback for you, for all of y'all, and especially for the Royal Saints, I've been offered to sign the deal with the Atlanta Falcons and play for playing as quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons. And then, Drew Brees, don't you ever fucking freak us out like that. That is not funny. You belong with the New Orleans Saints, not those fucking dirty birds. No fucking way. Now, this last link that I posted up on Facebook for April Fool's Day, which... I thought it was pretty clever when Krispy Kreme Donuts thought, you know, they're going to give us free Krispy Kreme Donuts. Like, when you go over there during April Fool's Day, you don't want to go over there go over there for April Fool's Day just to get some Krispy Kreme Donuts. Because when you open up those box, that's not Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme Donuts! Those are vegetables! Krispy Kreme Donuts, you fuckwads! Here's what you do. Go over to Krispy Kreme Donuts, take back that box of those healthy shit. Go over there and say, hey, Krispy Kreme Donuts! There is no box, there's no donuts in those boxes! Is this your healthy shit? Take it back! That is not funny! Hell, I mean, if I ever if, if that ever happened to me going to Krispy Kreme Donuts and I want to pick up some delicious as shit Krispy Kreme Donuts during April Fool's Day, I don't want to go there because they will prank us by giving us vegetables. No fucking way. Uh-uh. Don't go to Krispy Kreme Donuts during April Fool's Day, because it will happen to you. Now, anyway, for April Fool's Day, I decided to get back to pranking my friends on Facebook. So what I did, I posted up saying, like, during April Fool's Day, at 11 o'clock in the morning, I got a phone call unexpectedly, and then when I pick it up, and then, hello? Hello? How are you, baby? Holy crap. I am talking to a sexy woman. <laughs> yes, you are, baby. <laughs> Would you like to know what I look like? Oh, God. Yes, please. Please, tell, please text me what you look like. So, I waited, and then... Okay, there's a picture. <gasps> Holy shit! She is a Scarlett Johansson look-alike. She even has really, really big thingies than Scarlett Johansson. And then all of a sudden she called me back and then, hey, how would you like for me to come by to your house for some fun? Some sexy fun, that is. <laughs> So I paused in silence for a few seconds and then. So I texted her, so I gave her my address, and then she told me, Oh, I don't live that far from you, baby. I'll see you in a few minutes, baby. Okay. And then a few minutes later, even though it was raining hard as fuck on April Fool's Day, so 
She didn't tell me if she was going to drive by to my house or better yet, walk by to my house and appear sexy being wet. Because, you know, wet women are sexy as hell, man. And then all of a sudden, oh, that could be her. That could be her. So I looked out my window just to make sure that it's not a man. Holy crap. She appeared by my doorstep, wet, and she's wearing a schoolgirl's outfit. And then, giggity, giggity, giggity. Oh, oh, thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God, for sending me a sexy ass woman over to my house so I can get some and score, baby. I'm totally gonna get it on. Hi, Ho Lounge. I'm Jeff McCord, the entertainer extraordinaire. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Don't get pace, ladies and gentlemen. Probably for the best, ladies and gentlemen. Uh...